Yo, what is going on everybody? I am your host, Slack is Gaming, bringing you the next matchup episode thing for our potential newcomer tournament. So real quick, if you haven't seen it, this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, but uh, here's the rules. I upload one matchup from this tournament. We vote down in the comments simply by typing the name of the character for that day's matchup that you want to see. So... For example, yesterday's matchup was Skull Kid versus Rayman, so if you wanted one of those two characters, you would go to that video and type in, you know, uh, whoever's character's name that you think has the better chance to make it into Smash Bros. Ultimate as a playable character. Uh, one vote per person. Voting stays open for one week, so one week after the video gets uploaded, we figure out the winner and loser, and move on from there. We basically go until we have a winner of the whole thing. So yeah, two uh, double elimination tournament, I think I said, but... Uh, uh, we do have a loser bracket, so, I mean, duh, we have to have a loser bracket if it's double elimination. But, yeah, let's just get into the results from last week's game. Oh, boy. Okay, so I, w I was really, I was excited to see this one. Uh, the, re the results from game 52, which was Shantae taking on Dixie Kong, and I was excited to see how well would Shantae bounce back from her record setting 114 votes for one character in one matchup. That is... Still insane. Bandana D in uh, two matches ago ended up getting 113, so not quite, but still got up there quite high. And then Dixie Kong uh, coming off the win against Elma. How does Dixie Kong fare against Shantae? Well, check this out, actually. Shantae wins 101 to 78. Oh my god, Shantae breaks the triple digits for votes again. And I had to make sure I was careful with this one. I counted it like three, four times. Nah, I think just three. But uh, there were some people that uh, voted. Uh, it looked like it might have been accidental voting because it was like the exact same post. Uh, so some people did accidentally vote twice, so I did not count the second vote. Again, I emphasize one vote per person, so sticking to that. But, uh, yeah, Shantae still won 101 votes. Wow. I'm still I'm still baffled. I'm not baffled, but what did what did you have? Seventy eight. I'm still just I guess shocked is maybe, but like a good shock. Like wow, really? So I mean, it, it, that's that's very cool to see. Very cool to see. See Shante. Oops, that's not how you spell it. Shante. I did it again. Shante. There we go. Boom. All right. So oh my God, that means Shante moves into well today's matchup. We guys, we are now in the final four for the winners bracket. We yesterday we had the first semifinal, which was Bandana D against Isaac. Today is going to be another great episode. Skull Kid taking on Shantae. Oh, I got to move Dixie Kong down here real quick. Hold up, Dixie Kong six fifty two. All right, so loser fifty. All right, so Dixie Kong. In case you are a fan, and there were quite a bit, uh, and I'm. I want to put it like this. I'm surprised. But no. I don't know how to work. I guess I am a little surprised because there was a closer gap for uh, uh, Shantae and Dixie Kong uh, voting-wise than it was for Shantae and Gino. And to me, I think Gino might have the better chance between if it was Gino against Dixie. I think Gino has the better chance. But more there was more uh, support. It was just closer for Dixie Kong and Shantae. So that was really cool to see. That was really cool to see. But we got to get into the matchup. Skull Kid and Shantae, huh? Alright, let's do this. Skull Kid, right? Basics out of the way, right? Um, Sis Trophy hasn't been seen. Seemingly been replaced with the moon. And uh, that could kind of go against Skull Kid a little bit for playable character status. But um, because a lot of people would think, if Skull Kid was playable, what would his final smash be? And a lot of people say it's going to be the, the moon. Well... I've seen another kind of idea floating floating around. Uh, instead of the moon, it'd be Majora's Wrath. So, I, I mean, there's definitely other options you could have for a Final Smash. I mean, you could still use the moon if you really wanted to, because the moon is still on Great Bay. I don't think it really does anything to the stage, but it's just in the background. So it is there at least. So uh, you, you could just recycle it, I suppose. Maybe use the moon in a different way. I don't know. But the, Skull Kid still has... Uh, Final, uh, the, the final smash potential, extremely very likely, one of the most or one of the more talked about characters right now, one of the more speculated characters, 
And uh, what was it earlier today? Actually, the, was it a Sakurai column and Famitsu or Sakurai's column? He explains that he's slowing down character reveals. So again, that kind of puts me into the you know perspective, like not to expect too many newcomers. And I still think that Legend of Zelda as a series definitely deserves a new playable rep. I always say this, no matter what character it is in the tournament skull kid or impa i know tingle wasn't or uh linkle or midna i know none of those were in the tournament but if they were i'd still bring up the point legend of zelda as a series is too important to nintendo to uh only have just four faces you know just link three of them zelda sheik and ganondorf they need somebody else and skull kid i think is perfect Definitely a reoccurring character for uh, for Smash. A reoccurring character for Legend of Zelda series makes a lot of sense. Uh, fans know him. Fans want him. Uh, very popular right now. So I think he did pretty... I think he did decently on the Smash ballot. I gotta look at the that chart again. But I think he did pretty decently on the Smash ballot. So Skull Kid definitely has to be a front runner for characters. But so does Skull Kid's opponent, Shantae. And if this tournament has taught me anything... I'll be honest, when the Smash Ballot first came out, and I was seeing all of those kind of joke characters, Shrek, uh, I still kind of think Goku's uh, classified in the in the joke characters. Honestly, I had no idea who Shantae was at the time, and I just kind of put Shantae over in the joke character. But the more that I learned about her, the more that I realized that she actually has really good potential. And seeing videos from other people just kind of getting to understand the character a little bit better from my per from my perspective uh, it's been uh it's been helpful it's been a little i guess enlightening you want to say just a better insight to who the character actually is and why fan base wants her so bad and i completely understand that as a fan of waluigi i know he's in his trophy don't attack me i'm trying to make a point as a fan of waluigi i can definitely uh love that the pa uh, the passion a fan base has for their character to want them in Smash Bros. to be playable. Absolutely, I get that. And if this tournament has taught me anything, it's that Shantae, you have to take her seriously. Uh, I, she's got to be a front runner. I think something that the, I think my vote is actually going to come down to kind of what Sakurai just said in his column. And it kind of goes back to what he said at E3 too. Hope we're not expecting too many newcomers, and now he just uh, kind of restated it in a different way. You know, not now we're hoping that uh, or that he's going to slow down character reveals. So by slowing down character reveals, we've had nine total new newcomers and Echo Fighters. I think that definitely we'll get less than nine for sure. I'm project projecting about five to six i could see maybe a three and three split you know three newcomers three more echoes i still don't know if i put shantae up there i think um uh incinerar i still think that's got to be a leading candidate ken i mean he's practically confirmed at this time i think the again vergabend's leaks um or what he's been saying uh there's a second square rep so i think i'll just put Gino in that for right now so that leaves what three more one more unique newcomer two more echoes I think black fighter or black fighter black knight could be an echo fighter that's a possibility shadow could be another echo fighter so that leaves what one more newcomer I think for me skull kid still has the better chance until we get something confirmation or some sort of confirmation of like maybe a boss mode because that's the other alternative to what people are thinking for this matchup or for Skull Kid. It, uh, since his assist trophy has been not seen, some people are thinking he could be a boss. So until we get confirmation that Skull Kid's either a boss or, you know, maybe there is no boss mode, who knows. I still think Skull Kid has the better chance between these two characters Again, I'm just going to point this out because it's. I think it's funny. I haven't voted for Shantae once this entire tournament, but she's growing on me. She really is. I, I'm i taking her very seriously. I take her as a legit character to be in the game. So my vote, I think I already said this, I'm voting Skull Kid. I think Skull Kid has the better chance between these two characters, but I guess we'll find out. Here's the matchup. Who you got? Skull Kid, Shantae. The winner of this goes to the, uh, I mean, 
I guess you could say the championship, but it's not the actual championship. Uh, it goes to the championship of the winner's bracket. I can put it like that. There we go. So, oh, man. Skull Kid and Shantae. This should be a good one. Bandana D and Isaac yesterday was another good one. We'll find out next week who faces each other in the winner's bracket finals. And oh, should be good. Should be good. Let me know who you got. Skull Kid, Shantae. One vote per person. Plain and simple. So, yeah, that is all I got for this one. Wrapping up the video right here. And I guess you guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as usual. And uh, I don't know, is this is this another difficult one? I, I think this is. It was a lot more difficult than I initially thought it would be. Definitely, because Shantae is definitely creeping up my list of characters that I think has a legit chance. But anyway, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.